Hey guys, as you can tell by the title, this is not my normal video that I will be making. Um, it's going to be more intense. It's going to be, it's obviously going to be intense. Uh, my emotions are like building up inside me and I feel like I need to like get them out through my, through my uh, speaking and this is a video that I never thought I would make for multiple amounts of time and I feel like now is the best time to start making him. Um, so while I was doing the Mind of Gnome King series, um, I noticed a lot of like things going on that he has never shown on camera. I'm taught uh, Gnome King. He, well, he has shown on camera, but no one really paid attention. He was chasing Calendar Guy. He was doing all this stuff, and I just like he 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 gives me that fat neck multiple times a day, and I'm just like my emotions are booming and and like. I've supported him so much, uh, he's he supported me so much, and I didn't think that he would betray me and do all the stuff that he's been doing that I'm going to get to in, in the next parts of the video. I feel like when you put yourself out on the internet like this, and, yeah, when you put yourself out on the internet, it's like, you're obviously going to get hate, you're obviously going to get caught doing something, but this, like, I wouldn't say anything, but I, this is like something big. Like, this is something, like, that I can't, like, go any longer without saying. And I feel like it's necessary for me to express this. And, yeah, I feel like it's just necessary for me to say what I need to say to make this better. Hopefully, Gnome King notices this. And, Gnome King, if you're watching this, then please watch the whole video. I just wanted you to get my you know, knowledge, so, so, this first started when he promoted his vitamins, and his vitamins are a rival of my vitamins, and that was a sense of betrayal. <laughs> I feel like I got betrayed by one of my friends, one of my YouTube, uh, subscribers. Luckily, he hasn't unsubbed yet. I don't know if he was even subbed, but, um... But, yeah, he promoted his vitamins, which was rivaling my vitamins, and I didn't know that one person could have so much sense to bring down their friend, to bring down their, their, their YouTube acquaintance, uh, and he did. He promoted his vitamins instead of mine, and that really... And he also he almost promoted his makeup palette, but after he texted me to say that he promoted his vitamins, I told him to not promote his makeup palette. So he did that, but just the fact that he promoted the vitamins makes me want to explode in anger. And this is what this video is. I'm the vi This is what the video is pretty much me exploding in anger you know I'm making this video because my emotions are exploding inside of me um I I feel like I have had like like I'm not I'm no longer a part of the the community like this this is what one person can do with one it's not even just the the vitamins but this is what I'm starting out with it's it, the, the vitamins and almost the makeup is the least amount but I feel like so, like, this video is my emotions exploding out of me. And I don't know if I made that clear or not, but I think that the video that I'm doing, the emotions are coming out, and that's why I'm doing this video, just to, like, just to express my emotions about Gnome King. They're exploding out of me. So I'm going to start, like, talking in depth about the vitamins because my emotions are exploding out of me. Um, so he, he... After he posted the vitamins uh, on his Insta story at Coachella, I got a little bit heated and uh, apparently had a security issue with Coachella. Uh, I guess his emotions were exploding out of me. Out of. I, I guess his emotions were exploding out of him when he had a security issue, but I really. I just. When, when I got. When. Like, I follow him on Insta, he has over, like, a couple, and, um, 
he exploded, like, that, that post, like, boom, they got, like, five views, and that was just five lost my vitamins, and that is what really betrayed me, and, uh, I feel so, like, let down by my friend that I've supported for so long, and I don't know where I can start, I already did start, but I don't know where I can continue, um, but my emotions are exploding out of me, and after you sent me the text that you promoted your own vitamins and it was doing really well in sales, we got another sale, I was devastated and depressed, um, because I wasn't at Coachella, and I would have dealt with it right there and then, but I wasn't, and I... And this video is my emotions exploding out of me, and this is very therapeutic for me, and I feel like it'll very s help me in the long run. Um, he said he supported me. He said he he loved me as a creator, and and I felt like I was being lied to. I felt like I was being um, disrespected by one of my best friends and one of my. YouTube communities, friends, and just just the fact that um, that this is happening is very depressing, and I felt like my emotions are exploding out of my system, and uh, I don't know if I've really made that clear, but I think that that's what's going on, and I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, so, after Coachella, after he came back from Coachella, uh, and after he promoted the vitamins, and his like, emotions exploded out of him at the security guard, um, he had multiple days to come talk to me and just apologize in private, apologize in private, and I don't know why he didn't do it. He, he felt like he did nothing wrong, promoting himself instead of me, and that's... Like, that's where the betrayal started really coming in. And he knows where I live. He kidnapped me from my house. Um, he knows where I live. He could have come over. He could have gave me a DM on Discord or a DM on Instagram. And he could have he could have talked to me privately. But he didn't do that. And I feel like the only way for me to say this is for me to go to it openly to all the people. And Gnome King... I know you're watching this, and I just want to say that I still, I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I feel like it'll take him a while to realize that I don't hate him. I just want him to know that what he did was morally wrong. And you know, like, what I'm about to get into. You know that the vitamins is not all. Like, you almost promoted the makeup palette. That was probably the biggest thing. You almost promoted your makeup palette instead of mine. Um, check out the vitamin link and the makeup link in the description. They're only $50 each makeup. And so, like, if you don't want more colors than one makeup, then you have to pay another $50. So if you want red and pink makeup, you pay $100. Like, we've had multiple conversations, like, person, like, in person. We've had multiple conversations in person, and he's always been like, Ramps up for life, like, I'm on your side, uh, I support you in every way, and, like, I'll never do anything to drag you down, or make you lose a lot of subscribers, and all that stuff, and, and just the fact that he promoted a rival vitamin company to mine, his company, made me feel like I was lied to, I was, like, my, the loyalty was down the drain, and... I felt like that is really what I need to talk about here and like I like I still like processing through my head like why would he do something like that and it's not it's not just this like this is just the first part and I'm going to get into the next part like like really soon when I first met Gnome King when he was 17 he he even before he like blew up on YouTube like he just recently passed 50 subscribers which is crazy, um, so I heard that he got a play button, and he really needs to do an unboxing, but, um, he, 
like I honestly like he he gets he has this method of getting what he wants. He always gets people to buy his vitamins. He always gets the fire neck. He always gives me the fat neck and you know what? Known King you, you, you no self serve, okay? All my other friends, you can self serve, but no self serve for you, Gnome King. That's what you get. Whenever I go hang out with a group of influencers, like yes, it's like a lot about makeup, a lot about vitamins, and but sometimes it's about business. And when it comes to business, Gnome King is very uh, outgoing and always gets what he wants about business. Like, like whenever uh, Aid Studios had to get renamed, like I was like, well, name it to. Uh, something and he said no um there was a reason uh i try i attempted cancer studios but that didn't sound right um it didn't sound right and i'm glad he rejected the decision uh here's the next like topic no one was going on tour he had vip tickets right they went for five hundred dollars that's insane amount of money to just like meet your favorite influencer or favorite creator like just to meet your favorite creator you shouldn't have to pay five hundred extra dollars than what you would already be paying and like that's where I first started to question him like this was before the vitamins he like this is just my emotions exploding out of me but like, this is before the vitamins, like, he announced his tour, he announced the VIP tour tickets costed, costed $500 just to meet him and just to get, like, a handshake with him, and that's, like, insane, and, like, if I was doing a tour, um, I would get mine, my VIP tour, tour tickets at $1,000, uh, that's, like, the outrageously low price <laughs> is, uh, what really got me there. He sued Epic Games for stealing all 80% 80, 80 of his V-Bucks, um, which, that's too low. Epic Games should have, the reason he sued Epic Games is because, uh, Epic Games took too little of his V-Bucks, um, he should, they should have took, uh, 99% of his V-Bucks, um, so he sued Epic Games, which, then that's controversial, um, and I felt like my emotions were exploding out of me when I heard that, and th that's another reason why I'm making the video, like, why would he sue Epic Games? Like, I will say that 80% is, like, really low, but... Like, he shouldn't sue them. Like, that's not outrageously low. Like, if it was, like, 69%, that would be, like, my emotions would literally blow my brains out. But, luckily, it's not. And I really respect that about Epic Games, that they didn't go too outrageously low. And I don't feel betrayed by Epic Games. I feel betrayed, betrayed by my... One of my best friends before this happened. Gnome King. So... I was sitting with him at, here, here, here's the big thing, here's the big thing that I'm probably going to talk about for a long time. I was sitting with him at a lunch table at the cafeteria, right? I saw him hug the waiter. So that means that he was convincing straight people to hug him, and I cannot believe what I just saw, and he, he'll, he'll talk about this in his response, I'm sure he'll make a response, I'm sure it'll be like, stupid and all, and, and, and crazy, and, and stupid and crazy, and, like, like, I know that's gonna happen, and I know that I'll probably get backlash from all this, I'll probably lose at least one subscriber, and, like, like, I, like, I feel like if I get the consequences or whatever, I feel like it'll be worth it. I've got, I will get all this stuff off my chest. I will 
grow as a person. I will get more confident. Like, I know that I'm not the only one that has been experiencing this discomfort. After him and Bihaz got together, um, there was, mm, this is the one that really, like, makes my emotions explode out of me. The fact that he cheated on Bihaz with Reagan Townsend, which is another famous YouTuber with over, uh, five subscribers, and I can't believe that he would do something like that to someone. Like, after convincing, like, after convincing B. Halls to hug him, they were together, right? And then Gnome King went to Reagan Townsend, pretending that he was all uh, single and lonely like me, and. <laughs> <laughs> Now Reagan Townsend is unknowingly, or now B. Hawes is being cheated on without being known. And I hope that he sees this video. I hope that he makes a response to all this. I hope that he notifies me. Like, but Reagan Townsend did nothing wrong. Um, but B. Hawes, like, he also. Did nothing wrong. Um, but Gnome King is a real villain here. Like, I can't believe that he would just cheat on someone and convince someone to hug him. I've reached out to both uh, B Hog and Reagan Townsend, but I have not received a response from either. I'm sure that they will see this video and I'm sure that they will respond on their own terms if they want to. And I respect that about them. But I do demand a response from Gnome King, uh, uh, please. I talked about this earlier a little bit in the video, um, but he received a 50 subscriber play rock, um, and I did an interview with, <laughs> I did an interview with Susan Wojcicki, uh, she said that he, that she was very disappointed that he, that Gnome King did not open the subscriber play rock. Uh, Gnome King knows that I did the interview. Um, he wants. I think that it be it would be best for both me and him for him to release that interview on his own terms because it is about him. And if I did, I feel like. We'd have some beef. I mean, we already do have some beef between each other, but I feel like we'd have a little bit more, and I don't want to cause any controversy in this, uh, you know, thing, even though I am making a very long exposing video. Um, but that interview I had, or not, not interview, not kind of like a talk, like, what do you think about Known King? Uh, she, she was very dissatisfied. She talked about everything that I've talked about and more that I'm going to talk about later in the video. Um, and I I have to agree with her on everything. Um, I'm going to give Gnome King the rights, I guess, to release, um, release the interview or talk by himself so that I don't, like... I, I want to respect his privacy and also Susan Wojcicki's privacy and uh, yeah I just want to let people know that I did have a talk with Susan Wojcicki and she said that she was very dissatisfied but I'm not going to release it right now because that's his business and I don't want to get like too personal with him. Here is where the tea gets pretty boiling. Uh, Gnome King does not know that I'm going to expose him for this. He thinks that I'm not going to expose him. He thinks that this is the one thing I'm not going to say. And he does not even know that I'm saying this. And if he watches this entire video, 
he should make a response, but if he does not say anything about this in his response video, then you'll know that he did not watch the whole video. He took my diced cherries and pineapples from my backpack and, and, and dropped it. That devastated me, and I almost cried. And, like, I don't think he understands, like, how much that, di that can of diced cherries and pineapples meant to me. That happened on, on Friday, uh, May 24th. And I'm st and right now it's Sunday, or no Monday, May twenty seventh. Uh, Happy Memorial Day to all y'all veterans. Uh, that's not <laughs> memorial. That's Veterans Day. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day to all your veterans. As I was saying, like that can of diced uh, tomatoes, or not tomatoes. I'm so sorry. That can. <laughs> <clears throat> that can of uh, diced uh, cherries and pineapples was very uh, precious to me, and I don't think he understood that. He thought it was just a joke, and I played off as a joke, not to like make him mad. But I knew, like after that, that was my like last straw. My last straw got pulled on Friday, and he does not know that that was the last straw. Um, and I don't know if he'll even watch to this point. Um, but I'll show you what I have to cope with now that is not my diced cherries and pineapples. I can't, like, it's so hard for me. No, I'm kidding. I ask for forgiveness about this. I ask for your support, and I thank you. Imagine losing something you love so much. Ima okay, imagine Calendar Guy losing his calendars. That's the only thing that he loves. That's the only thing that keeps him running each day, just the fact that there are calendars in the world, and if he lost that, look at what would happen to him. Just imagine what would happen to him. He would, like, explode. His emotions would explode, and that's the same thing for me. My diced cherries and pineapples were my life, and I'm <laughs> I have crippling depression because... I can't look at them, I can't have the can in my hand, and, okay, no, I'm kidding. It's just me and you here. Pretend there's nothing, no one else watching. Pretend you can even talk back to the screen if you need to. What if I took your gnome.pngs from the Gnome King manga? You wouldn't be able to rebuild yourself. The, the diced cherries and pineapples, that helped me get through my hardest times. That helped me rebuild my emotions, rebuild my myself, rebuild my arms because of the cherry, diced cherries and pineapples. That helped me get through life. And if, you t if I took your gnome.pngs away from you, you would not be able to rebuild yourself. You'd not be able to rebuild your emotions. You would just be left with no arm. No arm. Imagine the arm is gone. You don't have any arm. And if you didn't have an arm, look at what you couldn't do. And that's what I'm going at. Like, you took away one of my most valuable things, and that is what, like, my heart, like, mm, that really hurt, bro. And, like, like, you know, oh, and I can't even believe, like, y like you don't, obviously you don't understand, like, how much that meant to me. And I've never expressed that to anyone, but it didn't mean so much to me. You've seen me with it every d day since, uh, like, Thursday. And you took that away. And that, that hurt. That hurt, man. I'm sorry. Wait, why am I? What? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. If you do this one thing for me, I will forgive you. If you go out to the store, buy me a diced can of cherries and pineapples and deliver it to me, I'll forgive you for this particular incident. Like, this is, this is the one that, like, truly got me. And 
that was the last straw I told you. And if if you if you do that, I'll be very that that'll make me feel a lot better. And if you do that, I want to thank you in advance. Thank you. Another controversy that I had not told anyone, and I have not told him that I'm going to say this. This is true. He does not like Mr. Beast. He is not subscribed to Mr. Beast. Look at it. Look at it. Look, look. I don't know if you can read that. Oh, hold on. I'll be right back. <coughs> the first question of the day reads, If Chandler from Mr. Beast was in Shrek's swamp, do you think Shrek would let Chandler throw his poop? And when I asked that question to Known King, he didn't know what that was. He did not know who Chandler was. He did not know... Well, he did, he did know who Shrek was, um, obviously, but he didn't know who Ch Chandler was, and um, that that got me. I just bought a $55 Mr. Beast sweatshirt, unironically, and I, I can't believe that you don't like, at least subscribe to him. I paid $55 on a, on, a, on a sweatshirt, and you're not even subscribed. You should really subscribe to Mr. Beast. <clears throat> Do you remember at the beginning of last year when Logan Paul filmed a dead body in a forest? Well, Nung King did something so much worse. Um, oh my god, it hurts to talk about, like, your friend, your former, like, YouTube friend. And when I did the minor Nung King, I knew something was a little bit off with him. And there is... He recently filmed a dead leaf in the non-suicide forest. And when I saw that video, I automatically pressed like. Um, and like that, 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 like, I cannot believe this moment do that. Like, that hurts. And, like, do you know how many leaves die every day? There's a lot of leaves that die every day. And just the fact that you would... Uh, expose a leaf like that in in your 50 subscribe 50 subscribers 50 people saw that video on in their subscription box but like no one watched it um, uh, I did but I didn't like I did not I do not approve oh my god why does my head hurt Jesus Christ oh my god Wait. Ow! Holy crap! I think the tea was too boiling. You exploited a dead leaf for views, and that's what that's what hurts. Like you got an extra like three cents from doing the leaf, and that like why would you exploit something like that for views? Like it hurts to think about. It hurts to get it because my head like hurts. Um, but it hurts to think about, like, how someone would be so exploitative of something, um, that they would exploit it for views, and that, like, that really gets to me. There's a lot of stuff that, um, made this video, uh, happen. I don't even know how long it's gonna be. Uh, it's probably, like, 20 minutes already. This video is kind of wrapping up, um, there's a lot more stuff, like little stuff, but this is like the big stuff. Um, Nung King, you can make a response, you can do whatever you want. And I just want to thank my fans for understanding, I want to thank them for watching, um, and Nung King, I want to tell you this, I, I don't hate you, I, you're, you're young, you're like 19 years old, you made mistakes, you... Fortnite made mistakes, and you're suing Fortnite, but Fortnite can't make mistakes, so, you know, um, but I, I just want to know that you're good, man, um, I just want you to, like, understand that I don't hate you, I still think, I, I still want to consider you a friend, I just want you to know that you did something wrong, and since you're young, and since I've, like, taken the mother position of you I want you to know that I support you and I know you can do better and I know I'm gonna get like controversy and like like why why are you trying to drag down this young man's career and I'm not trying to drag that down I'm just trying to make it public because I've tried to reach out to him multiple times and he hasn't 
said anything. He he hasn't like a after like we used to talk all the time and then but after the vitamins, after the almost promoting his makeup, after the Fortnite, after the dice can of pineapple, he never talked to me. I I tried to call him. I texted him. I I sent him a message on Remind, but <laughs> he never re responded. And this, I have to make it public. I have to make it so that he sees this, so that he gets like my fans to go attack him. And if and like guys, I don't want you to to attack him. I just want you to let him. I don't want you to unsubscribe. I just want you to let him know that this is where I'm coming from. And like you, you did do some stuff for him. Your VIP tour tickets were too cheap, and like. I think it would be best for you to cancel your brother's tour, and um, I know that might not be what you want to do, but I feel like that's what's best for you. I mean, not cancel it, maybe like postpone it, but cancel it for the time, and then like take time to gather your emotions, or maybe you'll just like make like a straight out video ranting at me. I don't care, but just like know that from my heart, from my mind from my older mind than yours um from like a, the mother position uh you moved across the country um away from your parents to move come to LA where all the all the homies are like me and uh and green ruby 12 um and i i assumed that i i took the mother position for you and i've supported you for so long and and I, I know that I still like you. I, we're still friends. We're still we're still we're you know we're still friends. We're still and I still support you. I just want you to know that you did something wrong and you need to correct your mistakes by making an apology video or just going silent for a couple weeks. Um, thank you guys for watching. This really was a therapy session for me, and hopefully you guys understand as well. Um, uh, if you watched all the way through, then make sure to buy my vitamins at uh, at at my website. It'll be in the description. Um, thank you for me not moving a subscriber for about three weeks. If you wanna make that move then you can subscribe if you're already subscribed then don't make it move by subscribing like unsubscribing but just stay subscribed um thank you so much for watching known king please see this please make a response we're still friends I'm, i feel like i missed something big but I, i'm i just want to get this video out thank you guys so much and bye brother <laughs>